Hello everybody, Hunter Peaks here. Back at the review for y'all. Everybody here with the next video for Halloween is so with everybody. Everybody, we're going to be jumping right back into the movie reviews, everybody. As for today's review, everybody, we're going to be checking out the last of the film adaptations of Cedar Keys Inter, everybody. That being the sequel to the 2017 It movie, It Chapter 2. Everyone, I was optimistic about seeing this movie, everybody. Although, for what for the reception I've heard, by, you know, for It Chapter 2, everyone, I've heard good things about it there. Although, I pretty much the majority of reviews I've seen of it there. People say that it's not as good as it 2017 there, so. But I really enjoyed it 2017 there, by. I was looking forward to seeing how this world was going to conclude there, based on how things did in the first movie, stuff like that there, so yeah. I had a chance to watch it Chapter 2, everybody, so. Let's so get right to everybody with a review for the movies here, so. Let's dive right to everybody. As usual, we'll be over for plot summary, pros and cons, and overall thoughts and recommendations, everybody, so. Let's go right to everyone. <laughs> First off, plots everybody. Now, everyone will go into detail about plots everyone. Uh, just like, yeah, like I said before, everybody, in my previous review, everyone, uh, the story for the second movie, everybody, focuses on the main characters as adults there, there, where the main thing is, you know, it takes place in sort of modern times there. Yeah. The events of the first movie takes place in summer 1989, and the and the and the recent adaptations there for Sea Kings, everybody established that Pete Wise wakes up every, wakes up once every twenty seven years. So, I said assume that the events for HR two takes place in the summer of twenty sixteen. So, for anyone wondering if there's for like an exact year which events of the movie takes place or what that. So yeah. But anyways, everybody, uh, Pete Wise is a waking up there. It's people that start this period get there so that, and so Mike. Who was the only member of the Losers Club who stood around during contact his old friends there? So the Losers Club re reunite there and look to take down Paywise once for all there. So that is pretty much the plot summary for it on Tier 1. Now on to the pros and cons. <laughs> uh, sorry if I do a hiccup support to everybody. I'll try to get these troll here. But, anyways, so everyone after seeing it on Tier 1. Or my overall thoughts out there. But I would, I had, I had, I thought it was pretty enjoyable filler by it. Yeah, if I watch it there, um, there are some issues I will get to it there, but overall, that was a pretty good sequel to the 2017 film, and pretty, it, it did things pretty decently there for the story and whatnot. So yeah. I thought it was I thought I thought sorry what made brief for it. I thought it chapter one would definitely it definitely retained a lot of elements that made it twenty seventeen very enjoyable there with the engaging story and strong characters there. And the adult actors did a good job, you know, gave the charm personality of of, of the other counterparts there, the main character um, the the younger counterparts of the main characters there. And like I said, I thought the story was pretty engaging for the most part there. And in terms of the scare factors are by, there are definitely a good number of <laughs> good number of different things there. That, for those of you who would have a kick out of getting scared or whatnot there, it 2 definitely has a good amount of different things there. <laughs> and of course, you know, <laughs> uh, Bill Skarsgård is paywise there. I really don't need to get a bunch of detail by, you know, most of are did a fantastic job as Paywise in 2017 there. Does the great, a great job here for each other too there. So yeah. Make sure Paywise is a very threatening and menacing villain there for our main characters there. So that. Uh, and in terms of the idea by overall idea of the filler by and how the story and whatnot there. Comparing it to 1990 filler by 1990 adaptation by I thought the film did a better job ending the overall story there compared to how things in the 1990 film it in the 1990 iteration of it, there one. But that was pretty much it for pros are by now to some of the cons and are by aren't a whole lot, but there are some big ones there. Well, the first and probably biggest issue I have everybody with it, chapter two or by is that there are definitely some pacing issues throughout the film there. 
And like at the beginning portion, everybody thought things were a little fast paced there. Although, Old Harper had too much there since, you know, you know, they pretty much told the story of the main characters as kids back in the first field there. So, but the reunion of the characters there, yeah, you know, it, that was a little fast paced there. So that, you know, would be nice to see a little bit more what things were like for them as adults there or whatnot. Um, since they left there, you went out there. But then, as the film progresses, everybody, it does have a issue with being a little slow pace of boats there, with the movie being two hours and 49 minutes there, compared to the first It, the first, this first movie there, where it's about two hours and 14 minutes there. And you can definitely tell that the film does kind of drag in certain parts there. It takes a little bit for the story to get going there and whatnot. Not as bad as the second half for in 1990 it there by, but it definitely does have its slow parts there. It does take a little bit for elements of the plot to progress there. My other Chris everybody for each other everybody is well how the main characters be pay wise everybody. Now everyone I well I well it is better how it things ended off in nineteen ninety it there by I could definitely see some people be divisive on how they exited there as the main characters ended up beating PYs there by just literally shouting him there so that until he's reduced to to just a tiny helpless creature there or whatnot. <laughs> they just take his heart out and they destroy it there so that Now I can see people get behind it there because it kinda of shows that the characters are no longer afraid of PYs there so that But on the other hand I can see I also see some people take issue with it there. But, you know, all they did was just shout at Paywise Tell. All they did was just shout at Paywise Tell. He shrunk down to tight size. That's not necessarily the most creative way to take out an all powerful being like him. So. That went from everybody. Like I said, it's better than how the fight ended in the. And that's an iteration everybody. But. Uh. But it could have been a little bit more creative there, so yeah. But anyway, that pretty much it for pros and cons, everybody, for it's up to everybody. Now on to my overall final thoughts, everybody. So everybody, well, it's up to was not as good as the 2017 movie. I did a solid pre time watching it there, so. I think people who enjoyed the first, who, who enjoyed it 2017 will have a relatively good time watching it there, so. I thought, I, I thought I did a pretty good job wrapping up the story there, so yeah. So that's right, overall five make sure everybody, it's hard to begin watch it right for me there, so for people who saw the first, who saw it twice so tier by, I really enjoyed it there, I think you'll have a pretty good time watching Chatter, It Chatter 2 there. <clears throat> Sorry everyone, had the burp there, but... Anyways, everybody, I'll pretty much wrap things up for this review, everybody, for Hallways of Swarm Out there, everybody. Next hour, everybody, we'll be taking a look at some animated movies or one, as we'll be diving right into the Adams Family animated films, everybody. Oh, well, I haven't heard too many great things out there, everybody, so they could potentially be the very critical reviews there, everybody. <laughs> but I'm going to enjoy with them right there, see how they turn out, see how they turn out there, whatnot. But uh, that'll be the next reviews are by the a the animated Adam's Family movies there, so make sure I'll see through that. But until then, that'll wrap things up for now, everyone. If you all like saw here, make sure you like the like button, new channel, subscribe, and notification icon, so it's uploads. I'll see you all next time. Until the next time, I'll make a sign out. Peace.